Hello friends. In this video, we are going to derive some parameters out of the four pin, right? Related to the buck converter. Okay. So in the last video, we have discussed about the circuit operation of the buck converter. Okay. So let us derive the parameters. The first parameter when switch is in the on state, right? When switch is in on, then what is VL and IC? Okay, so we can write when switch is in the on state, SW is on, right? So when switch is in the on state, then what will happen? So suppose switch is in the on state, right? So when this switch is in the on state, at that time this diode will be in the off state, okay? So here diode will be acting as an open circuit, okay? So it is like a diode will be in the off state. Is this clear? Okay? So diode will be in the off state will be having, okay? So now here, the circuit will be like this, okay? Diode is off state, inductor go on storing the energy. Voltage across inductor is VL, that is plus here, minus here, this is VL. Current flowing through the inductor is a IL, okay? So, when switch is in the on state, then can we write the expression for VL? Yes, we have already written. VL is equal to what? Or apply KVL, it is a plus VS, minus VL, minus V0, is equal to 0, okay? So, we can write it as a, apply KVL to the loop. Okay, so KVL to loop, it will give KVL to loop, right? So it will give plus Vs minus Vl minus V0 is equal to 0, right? So therefore we can write Vl is equal to what? Vs minus V0, okay? Vs minus V0, right? This is the expression for the Vl, expression for the Vl. Next, what is the IC? When switch is in the on state, yes, we can write IL is equal to IC plus I0, right? Apply KCL at this node, consider node X, right? Apply KCL at X, so we can write it as, yes, KCL at node X. So it is equal to IL is equal to what? IC plus I0, okay? So therefore, we can write IC is equal to what? IL minus I0, okay? Again, the I0 is a constant, right? I0 is a constant. So further, we can replace this I0 with a capital I0, right? We can replace this I0 with a capital I0, okay? So further, it is equal to IL minus I0 because as long as the converters are considered, we have two assumptions, right? One is the load voltage is constant and second one is the load current is constant, okay? Second step. When switch is in the off state, when switch is in the off state, right? So when switch is off, we can write it as when switch is in the off state, okay? So when switch is in the off state, then circuit will be, yes, the inductor releases the energy, right? So when switch is in the off state, Inductor will release the energy. Diode will be in the conduction mode. Okay. Diode will be in the conduction mode. This current is ID. Okay. Now, so when switch is in the off state, what is the VL? Can we apply KVL to this loop? Yes, KVL to this loop. It is a minus VL minus V0 is equal to 0. Okay. So we can write KVL to loop. KVL to loop. Okay. It is equal to minus VL minus V0 is equal to 0. Okay. So therefore, VL is equal to what? Minus V0, okay? Similarly, if we apply KCL at node X, it is a IL is equal to IC plus I0 only, okay? So, IL is equal to IC plus I0, right? KCL at node X. So, it is IL is equal to IC plus I0. So, therefore, from this, IC is equal to, yes, IL minus I0, IL minus I0, right? So further we can write is equal to IL minus capital I0, right? IL minus capital I0, okay? So this is about the second step, about the second parameter, okay? Third, yes, in the third parameter, we need to find hold second balance equation. We need to write the hold second balance. Hold second balance equation. Hold second balance equation is for yes inductor because whatever the energy stored by the inductor when switch is in the on state 
inductor is releasing the same amount of energy okay so therefore we can write voltage across inductor means which is in the on state okay plus voltage across inductor means which is in the off state okay is equal to zero is equal to zero okay so what is the voltage across inductor means which is in the on state it is equal to vs minus v0 right in the first step only we have written into t on okay plus what is the voltage across inductor means which is in the off state it is a minus v0 right vl is equal to minus v0 into s yes, t off t off is t minus t1 is equal to 0 are you getting the point t1 means which is in the on state that is 0 to t1 and t off means t1 to the t t off means time between t1 till t so it is a t minus t1 that is which is in the off state okay so we can write it as a vs into t1 right minus v0 into t1 okay minus v0 into t minus t1 is equal to 0 okay so further we can write it as therefore yes can we take v0 outside uh, all the v0 terms to the right hand side yes so it is a vs into t1 right is equal to v0 into s yes, in bracket we can write t1 plus t minus t1 right i have shifted these v0 terms to the right hand side okay so it is a t1 plus t minus t1 so plus t1 minus t1 it will get cancelled so therefore we can write v0 is equal to what t on by t into vs okay v0 is equal to t on by t into vs what is the t on by t it is a d so therefore we can write v0 is equal to t on by t sorry that is nothing but the d duty cycle t on by t is the d that is a duty cycle so it is a d into vs where d is the duty cycle or the duty ratio which is equal to where d is equal to what t on by t okay now as we have considered a v0 is a constant voltage right v0 is a constant voltage so if this is the expression for v0 which is equal to d into vs so similarly can we say that if the voltage is constant so its average value will be same as that of its magnitude okay so therefore v0 average is equal to v0 is equal to what d into vs okay whether it is the same as that of the step down chopper yes it is the same as that of the step down chopper means even though if we add inductor and a capacitor in a circuit but then also the final output voltage magnitude it will remain same right and what is the important thing we are getting we are getting the load current and the load voltage to be constant okay load voltage and load current to be constant okay so this is a v0 right next fourth ampere second balance equation right so fourth one is the we need to write the ampere second balance equation okay ampere second balance equation yes ampere second balance equation balance equation right ampere second balance equation. okay now here in the ampere second balance equation yes we need to consider the charge stored by the capacitor is equal to the charge released by the capacitor okay so when the capacitor is storing the charge during t1 okay so we can write it is a ic into t1 plus ic into t off is equal to zero right what is ic during t1 it is il minus i0 right it is a il minus i0 into t1 plus what is ic during t off it is again il minus i0 into what is t off t off is t minus t1 equal to 0 okay so therefore we can write it as a il into t1 right minus i0 into t1 plus il into t minus t1 minus i0 into t minus t1 is equal to right right so therefore we can write now we can take il common right so it is a il into yes t1 plus t minus t1 
this is the one okay is equal to shift the i zeros to the right hand side so it is i zero into in bracket t on s plus t next minus t on so t on t on will get cancel t on t on will get cancel again this t t will get cancel okay so therefore we can write i l is equal to i zero therefore i l is equal to i zero the meaning is this i l indicates it is i l average be careful right this is the i l average okay so therefore i l average is equal to i zero which is equal to capital i zero right this is a very very important expression means the inductor average current they have asked the questions right what is the value of inductor average current then we need to check i l average is equal to i zero we need to yes understand this expression i l is equal to i zero is this clear okay so this is about the fourth parameter next fifth parameter yes fifth parameter is ripple in inductor current that is the delta i l okay ripple in inductor current ripple in inductor current okay that is a delta i l delta i l or you can say delta capital i l okay so here if you check ripple in inductor current means what it is a change in the inductor current either i max minus i min during t on or it is i max minus i min during t off okay so during t on if you check during t on if you check or if you apply the kvl to the loop okay during t on if you apply the kvl it is like again it is a open circuit right diode will be in the open circuit mode okay so during t on yes kvl will be plus vs minus vl minus v0 is equal to 0 okay so we can write during t on during t on kvl to loop yes during t on yes what is that kvl it is a kvl to loop during t on the kvl to the loop yes if you check the kvl equation it is a plus vs minus vl minus v0 is equal to 0 okay so here we can write vl is equal to what vs minus v0 again what is the vl vl is the inductor voltage it is a l into di by dt is equal to what vs minus v0 vs is a constant voltage okay so again what is the di right here during t on over return so what is the change in the time change the time during t on it is a t on only right because time is changing from 0 to t on okay so during t on if you check di by dt during t on the change in the inductor current with respect to time is equal to yes during t on that is 0 to t on that is t on minus 0 means your dt okay and how the inductor current is changing it is changing from i max minus i min that i max minus i min is nothing but delta i l okay nothing but delta i l so therefore we can write during t on during t on it is a vl is equal to vs minus v0 okay so therefore we can write l into yes di means what it is a i max minus i min okay divided by dt dt means what it is a t on minus 0 okay is equal to what vs minus v0 vs minus v0 okay so therefore from this we can write yes delta i l that is the change in the inductor current i max minus i min is the change in the inductor current that is the delta i l okay is equal to what v s minus v zero into t on into t on divided by l divided by l okay so therefore delta i l we can write therefore delta i l okay is equal to what v s minus what is v zero v0 is a constant voltage and we, we know v0 is equal to d into vs right here only we have written v0 is equal to d into vs okay so can we replace here v0 with a d into vs yes so we can write v0 is equal to d into vs is a d into vs okay into t on again further we can write t on is nothing but dt 
t into t okay because we know yes here i am writing because we know t on by t is equal to d so therefore what is t on d into t so is equal to into dt we can write vs minus d into vs into dt right divided by l divided by l okay so further we can write change in the inductor current that is a delta il is equal to what right is equal to it is a we can take vs common so vs by l into 1 minus d into dt 1 minus d into d okay this is the delta il we are having this is the delta il that is a change in inductor current or ripple in inductor current right please try to understand the ripple in inductor current means change in the inductor current right it is from i min to i max so it is i max minus i min okay that is nothing but the delta il are you getting the point okay so this is about the first five parameters related to the buck converter right related to the buck converter all these are very important they have asked the questions numericals based on these parameters only okay in most of the gate and is question papers right so in the next video we are going to discuss remaining parameters thank you